Hello and welcome back. This time I'm out here in the forest to do some woodland photography. And for that I have actually brought the 70 to 200 f 2.8 and in the backpack I have the 24 to 70 2.8 just in case we need something a little wider. But yeah, I will mainly focus to use the 70 to 200 today and the reason i'm actually putting that lens on is because i don't have a macro lens so i found an alternative with using a little longer lens and i will usually use it at 200 millimeters at 2.8 and i find that it gives me somewhat the same look on the image but of course not as good as a macro lens for this kind of photography. So the reason I'm out here to do woodland photography is because last night I saw that it went down to minus 4 degrees and I knew that would mean that there would be frost and I think you can see a little bit of that behind me. Unfortunately I did also get a little too late to, sl to to bed and that resulted in me getting a little bit too late up and a little bit too late out so the sun was already kind of high on the sky and a lot of this frost have actually melted but I'm trying to capture what I can and after that we will focus on just a little more normal woodland photography and I just think that it's going to be a, a great day out here. I don't know if you can see that, probably not, if the camera wanted to focus, please, and then we turn this on of course. So unfortunately now most of if not all of the frost is gone and that means I'm gonna head over to another place here in the forest and hopefully we can get some beautiful pictures of these trees and the ground and just some yeah some nature shots and I'm a little disappointed with me not getting that many pictures of the frost but that is just my own fault to not be going out that early that I wanted. I should have went earlier to bed if I wanted to be more fresh in the morning to get out. But yeah, that is just how it is and I still think that I got some beautiful pictures and I will probably put them in the end of this video so you can see them. Um, a lot of the other pictures I've taken in some of the other vlogs, they will at some point get over to my website or my Instagram and you can find both of 
the links to those down in the description. So I think it's time for me to move over to another place and get a cup of coffee and hopefully there will be some beautiful pictures waiting over there. So yeah, let's try that. So on my way over to the other place, I found these beautiful, beautiful flowers that I just have to take a picture of. And I'm not sure what they're called in English, so I'm not even going to try to pronounce anything. But when you see them, you can probably know the name. But yeah, I will uh, get a picture now and then we will move on. Yeah, it's it's really beautiful. I don't know if you can see me, but whew. so happy that I found these. See if you can see these pictures maybe it's probably a little dark So one thing I really want to do now is to photograph some of this birch forest right here. It's beautiful and I really really like the white trees. And just beside it we have some more dense forest so it really gives a perspective on two different kind of kinds of forest. Yeah, I want to try to do some woodland photography here where we maybe can photograph some of the trees and maybe some of the landscape, I'm not sure, but let's just try to get some pictures and hopefully we get something good. Yeah, so if you look here, I hope you can see it. It is looking really good and off the side here you can see the background but because of the 2.8 aperture it is totally blurred. I really like these pictures and I think that a lot of times it's the small things that counts. You know we are always about the wildlife and oh, the deer and stuff but sometimes you just want to relax take it very slow and go around the forest and see what you can get so that is exactly what i'm doing today and if you haven't done it for a while or maybe have never done it uh, you should try to do it also e even though if you don't have a camera just you use your smartphone or yeah maybe not even take photos just go around 
maybe take a little closer look on some of the trees get in the detail yeah I, I really really think that's a great idea to do so I just saw a squirrel run I haven't seen a squirrel for a long long time and it's good to see that they are coming more out now yeah I think that the squirrel pictures will be for another day with the more wildlife kit than this woodland kit here but yeah I am um, I'm finding it pretty difficult actually to get some kind of framing some pictures in here and I don't think there isn't any opportunities I think there is a lot of opportunities in here but I'm just more of a wildlife photographer than anything else so it's quite hard for me to to frame something up here but I think that I'm gonna look around some more and and try I have found a composition that I think looks all right it's not my favorite and there is some th things I would change but I don't wanna destroy the vegeta vegetation like the plants and stuff but yeah I think it looks all right and maybe we can blur it so you don't see some of uh, of these sticking out because there are some on the picture and I will try to show you the composition so here it is and that right there is where it sticks in the picture because I think the picture could be that you can see all the way along here all the trees so you focus on one tree and then you can see some in the foreground and some in the background but there's only focus on one I think that could uh, could work pretty good but yeah I, I will try to get the picture and uh, and maybe if it ends up being okay and I like it then you will see it last in the vlog yeah so I like these much better than I like the other one and in this one you can see the swamp 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 the mushroom that was the word I couldn't remember the word um, yeah the, the mushroom and oh now I'm getting is it mushroom I don't know the little thing on the tree here is in focus and the background is blurred I like this composition much better and I can see on the picture it turned out really good I really like that one where the mushroom here on the tree is in focus and all the birch trees in the background are totally blur blurred and I really really enjoyed that much more than the other one where we had all the birch trees uh, along the side yeah so I don't really know where else I can go but I think that I will probably not continue too much longer because it's already nearly 12 o'clock and yeah I just think that we have already gotten a lot of pictures that are really great but of course if I find anything I will capture it on the video and on the stealth camera but yeah so as you probably can see I'm in a different type of forest now and the reason for that is that I couldn't really find that many compositions over in the birch forest and in here I mean it's beautiful and the sounds I don't know if you can hear the birds but I'm struggling extremely much to find compositions 
I don't think there is that many in here but just in general compositions for landscape and woodland photography is something I'm struggling a little bit with but I think that by going out with the camera with the vlogging kit I am gonna improve over time and hopefully by vlogging it I can show that I started like this which is probably not that good and over time I'm getting better but I think that I will just look a little further in the forest if there isn't anything I am gonna end the vlog there and probably go home So I have actually managed to find a, another composition and I think this looks pretty good. So if you zoom in a little bit you have all the trees on both sides going down so it looks kind of symmetric and there is also this line in the middle kind of. So now I have been looking around for a while and I just cannot find any more compositions. I think this was a great day to be out and photograph some woodland and macro photography even though I don't have a macro lens. I still think the pictures, at least some of them, turned out pretty good and I hope you liked them too. I hope that you enjoyed this video and Next time I will go to a forest where I know there is a little more composition for landscape and woodland photography. But this morning I just thought that I'm just going local because I was that late out of bed. And I'm also struggling a little bit today. I don't think it was that easy to film the vlog today because I'm a bit tired. I am mispronouncing so many words and I am just keep saying so many things wrong and I just lose what I am about to say so many times so I hope that even though I don't think myself that this is one of the best vlogs I still hope you liked it and enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video please press the like button and if you are not subscribed Please subscribe for more content that is coming. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys next time in another video. I hope you have a great day and remember to get out, enjoy nature. See you.